What's up guys, it's Ed from Techsaurus and today we are reviewing the Google Pixel XL. Starting off with the specs, the device is equipped with a Snapdragon 821 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, a 12.3 megapixel rear camera and an 8 megapixel front camera, and the options of 32 gig or 128 gig of storage. The Pixel XL has a 5.5 inch Quad HD AMOLED panel and 3450 mAh battery. Beginning with the design, the Pixel XL is housed in a minimal body that showcases little flair. It is mostly made of aluminum with the screen and upper portion of the back covered in Gorilla Glass 4. It is much more durable than an old glass phone but doesn't have the same premium look and feel. The phone comes in a black, white or blue finish but if those aren't your style, you can grab a skin from the brand like I have in this video. I will drop a link to it down below if you guys are interested. Water resistant isn't absent from the Pixel XL but it is surprisingly lackluster. The official rating is IP53 meaning the device is barely resistant to water and dust, being able to withstand nothing more than raindrops. Google's reasoning for this choice is that they simply ran out of time. This would have been fine if the phone didn't come at a premium starting at 769 in the US. The 2560x1440p resolution display is pretty much what's to be expected out of a flagship device. It has an excellent pixel density at 534 ppi and showcases very vibrant colors. They are very accurate as well, not too oversaturated in any regard, but still vibrant. Viewing angles are also great, so color shifting shouldn't be too much of an issue. The bottom of the Pixel XL has a USB Type-C port, a single speaker, and a microphone. This is a step backwards from last year's flagship, the Nexus 6P, which had dual front-facing speakers. The audio quality is mediocre at best and doesn't make for the best all-around media consumption experience due to a somewhat distorted sound, especially at high volumes. In fact, here's a quick test. Previous Nexus devices haven't always been known for having the best cameras. Google says the Pixel and Pixel XL have the best cameras on a smartphone, and it shows. The 12.3 megapixel shooter takes sharp and vibrant images, photos show great detail and a lot of light thanks to the 1.55 micron pixel size and the f2.0 aperture. 4K video is also very pleasing, remaining crisp and capturing accurate colors. Especially with the electronic image stabilization factored in, the Pixel XL makes for a great on-the-go video shooter. The stabilization system works for the most part, better than what is on most other smartphones, but a jitter effect can be noticed when you try to pan, which is quite unfortunate. The 8 megapixel front camera also performs pretty well. It's not as wide as the front camera on the Samsung phones, but it's still adequate. The balance of color and exposure are also very accurate, remaining consistent between each shot. The battery life on the Pixel XL exceeded my expectations. The 3450 mAh battery was able to last an entire day of usage without giving out. I'm averaging around 5 hours of on-screen time without needing to charge the phone during the day. This comes from the usual routine of web browsing, checking emails, and communicating over social media and text messaging of course. Both phones also offer fast charging which can provide up to an additional 7 hours of use with just 15 minutes of charging. That's pretty insane. Of course, this phone will be best characterized by the stock Android experience. Google has fitted it with the new Pixel launcher and extra software not seen on other devices. The most notable of these is the Google Assistant which will provide answers to everyday questions as well as perform other tasks such as playing music or quickly searching your photo library. Pixel owners are also granted unlimited storage of full resolution images on Google Photos, a first for any Android based smartphone. The overall experience with stock Android Nougat is very pleasing due to its consistency and overall speed when using the device. The Google Pixel is definitely a smartphone that anyone upgrading should take note in as it offers one of the smoothest versions of Android and will receive updates first. Compared to other flagships, the Pixel provides a polished and functional smartphone experience both in the hardware and software, from the solid build quality, great camera, and the flagship specs. Keeping that in mind, the poor audio quality and the lack of real waterproofing capabilities are the only two main gripes I have with this device, especially at this price point. But that pretty much sums up my review of the Google Pixel XL. If you guys enjoy my reviews, make sure to leave a like. These do take a lot of time to create. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.